Hey guys, this is Brian Jones from Valhalla Academy in Frankfort, Kentucky. And I want to get my thoughts on the big match that everybody's been talking about, the uh, Metamorphs 3, the uh, Eddie Bravo vs. Spoiler Gracie match. Um, there's been a lot of talk on the internet, um, a lot of good stuff, a lot of shit talking back and forth, people saying a lot of different things. Um, really, uh, you know, my breakdown of the match is this. These two guys, they're not in their, what I would consider competitive prime. Uh, they wanted a rematch, they got a rematch. 20 minute time limit, submission only, no points. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Hats off to both of them for getting back out there and competing because they wanted to do it. Um, I thought both competitors fought a really hard match. Um, both of them, you know, hats off to both of them. Uh, they went out there and gave it everything they had and went for the entire time and they fought to a draw. Now, this is the point of contention a lot of people have. Um, yes, Hoyler got swept. Yes, there was a guard pass. So, had there been points, Hoyler would have lost. Unfortunately, the rules stated that there had to be a submission for there to be a win, so it was a draw. So everybody that talks about how uh, Hoyler lost this fight, or they're just simply wrong. Hoyler did not lose that fight. He didn't tap out, and it was a draw. So that is that. I mean, I think that's about as clear cut as it gets. Again, there was a, there's a point system, then depending on what the point system was, I mean, more, I mean, it definitely the sweep would have counted as a point. So that's, but that's again, it's, it, it doesn't make any, it doesn't make any difference because there was no point system. The second thing is, I really thought the guys were classy. Okay, they were respectful of each other before, during, and after the fight. Um, the uh, there was no, um, I guess, animosity that I could pick up. Uh, they were just two athletes out there doing what they do best. Um, the unclassy part, I thought, and you know, I obviously just read this on the internet, but um, if Hoist really did come up and start trash talking Eddie uh, Bravo after the fight, I think that is a despicable thing to do. Okay, if you're going to challenge somebody to a match, a volleyball match or something, do it through a proper channel. Don't go after somebody's just competed and find them in the bathroom and threaten them. I mean, that right there makes you look really bad. Uh, number three, everybody was looking for this to prove something, okay? Instead of uh, Eddie Bravo versus Hoyler Gracie, it was 10th Planet versus every other kind of jiu-jitsu. I didn't see it that way, okay? Um, 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu is a different sort of style of Jiu-Jitsu and it doesn't, it doesn't sort of mesh with the old school Jiu-Jitsu. There's a lot of new moves, a lot of different stuff, a lot of recycled material that's been tweaked and everything. So Eddie Bravo is a very creative guy, he's a great grappler. 10th Planet produces some great grapplers. Um, but this wasn't a 10th Planet system versus traditional Jiu-Jitsu. This was two guys going out there and, and having a match. So the fact, and it went to a draw, and the fact that, you know, the, the, uh, the, the community at large, particularly, I don't want to say one or the other, is more guilty of this, but the, the, the community at large is trying to play this off as if this is some um, victory where, whereby uh, all the old traditional jiu-jitsu should just be thrown out in favor of this new stuff. No. I think Tenth Planet has some great stuff, but it's uh, predominantly a half guard, um, guard game type thing, and I'm never going to play that. I don't have those attributes. I'm not that flexible. I don't have that flexibility. And I've been doing the, the traditional style of Jiu Jitsu, um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, for long enough that that stuff is just not going to, I guess, dovetail nicely with what I already do. So it's not that it's wrong, it's just different. Some people are going to grapple that way, and some people aren't. So I think that people need to be exposed to these new moves, and this is part of the evolution of jiu-jitsu, but, uh, you know, neither one is going to be better than the other, but um, that's what a lot of people are making it out to be. So take it for what it is. Two guys went out there, they fought hard, um, it was a draw, and if you're butthurt about it over something, then get over it. Okay. If you don't agree with me, you can post in the comments below. I'd love to hear your discussion on this. Post this wherever you want. 
Uh, this is Brian Jones from Valhalla Academy, Frankfort, Kentucky. Train hard, train smart, and train often. See you next time.